Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is this month that big happenings are happening, right? Big astrological events are taking place. And one of the biggest is Saturn. It is going to be right around March 22nd that Saturn will just dip into fellow air sign Aquarius until July 1st. And then Saturn will return to this brand new part of the sky in December for a much longer stay right into 2023. So this is the first taste you're going to get of this energy but it is an accelerated one. And that is because at the very end of this month, Mars will meet Saturn in the sky. And this will be some very clear indications for you as to what some of the larger, more important lessons are meant to be for you now. So here we have Saturn. And of course, there are gonna be Saturn special horoscopes. Be on the lookout for that in the first part of March. I hope you absolutely love them, but keep an eye on YouTube. You will know right away. And I, again, I can't wait to talk about it. There's just so much happening this month, certainly, but beyond this month as well. This is a huge transit for you. It is happening in a part of the sky that is connected to passion and desire and flirtation on the one hand, but it is also connected to tapping into the power of your heart and what it is that you really want in your heart of hearts, how to live with more passion, how to do more of what you're passionate about, your creative endeavors. And it is also connected to children, children you want or children that you have, and how it is that you can be that much more effective. So all of these areas are gonna come into focus now and so much more because this is air energy, you're able to tap into it to your advantage that much more easily as well. So whereas for some people this can be especially challenging, I do think you are one of the signs who's gonna find yourself able to use this energy that much more. But do be open because what it is that you truly want may surprise you somewhat, but it, it becomes kind of an urgency. It becomes one of those moments of clarity that is set to take place for you at the end of this month to get serious about what really matters, what's really gonna make you happy, and to realize what isn't, and to allow that healthy closure to take place where needed. Now, that isn't all that's happening this month. We've got big other things as well, a big super moon that is set to take place right around the 9th of the month. Now, this super moon is happening in the sign just before yours, and it is here that we speak to uh, karmic blessings, karmic closures, closing karmic ties, ending karmic chapters, knowing what has served its purpose in your life. This is about what is happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. And it looks like there's such a strength of spirit for you now. Now do keep in mind, Neptune is gonna be across the sky from this full moon. So if anybody out there definitely is going to need a lot of rest, it certainly is you around the time of this full moon. At the same time though, this can be a time when your dreams are especially vivid. We have these beautiful alignments between the full moon and Jupiter and Pluto, which tells me there's a lot of power, lots of blessings, certainly magnified now, but at the same time, a very deep transformation that is preparing you for bigger and better. Now that bigger and better is right around the corner with a powerful full moon in your sign next month. And I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. Now, as we navigate late into the month, right around the 24th is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in your opposite sign and it will be speaking in harmony with Saturn. I love this. It is an energy of stability, an energy of thinking big picture. And of course your opposite sign that has to do with partnerships of all kind. It is gonna be Mercury that is direct by this point, starting to wrap up the larger Mercury retrograde season, yay. And so what that tells me is this can be a powerful time to connect with new people, 
for your business goals, for your professional alliances, or to have one of these people welcome in or help you to welcome in greater opportunity that can be part of creating long-term stability in your life and allow you to do more of what it is that you want to do. But of course, opposite sign and partnerships, this can also speak to matters of love as well. And when it comes to matters of love, for those of you open to meeting someone new, a new moon in your opposite sign tends to be a strong indication of connecting with someone to help you to understand where you are in love and why. I do think with Saturn moving into a flirtatious and romantic part of the sky for you, part of what makes you aware of where your learning is may be a very powerful flirtation that takes place as you navigate late into the month. It can redefine you and help you to understand really some of your most important learning moving forward from here. For those of you just starting to date someone, this can be an important time. It's a very all or nothing kind of sky where you're realizing more of who this person is. You're getting a fresh perspective, certainly. And if it is that you feel that connection, you will be all in. But if it is that that isn't the case, this can be a moment when you decide to go in a whole other direction. And for those of you in an established bond, this can be an important time of realization as to what it is you're building with your partner, what it is that your partner means to you, and what it means to cultivate a deeper stability and a deeper commitment together. It looks like, and it is possible, that you may need to in some way be present with your partner as we get to the end of the month, but all of this is designed to help you to understand and to know the heart connection that is there. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I'm actually gonna say that new moon in your opposite sign, I think that's gonna help you to connect with new people for your personal gain, for your professional gain, and of course, romantically as well, it's gonna give you a whole fresh new start in some way that you are ready for, a much more mature and a long-term perspective as to what it takes to build a solid alliance with another person. And the great thing is, is that the commitment factor is there as well, helping you to move towards a more stable future together. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week, which is a really good idea considering the kind of very busy astrological month that we are going to be coming up on uh, over the course of March. So you can navigate to NadiaShaw.com, sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.